Hey guys, this is Manakshi Bhatt. You're welcome on my channel. And here is the heating, ventilation and air conditions, HVAC. It is also called as AHU validation, air handling unit. So, first of all, you need approved protocol for the qualification of your HVAC system. Confirm that uh, devices which are using that should be valid calibration period and calibration certificates should be available for all those equipments and master equipments which you are using for your HVAC qualification. So these are these are the list of parameters, air velocity, CFM, Macy pH, integrity test, and all we are going to discuss in our next slides. So first of all, you need to calculate the air velocity. Here we use capture hood and anemometer instrument to check the air velocity. Then we calculate the average velocity of the 5 points. Afterward, we calculate CFM of this and then finally ACPH. The, cal the formula to calculate the ACPH is here. It is air changes per hour equal to your total CFM into 60 divided by your room volume. So guys, uh, remember one thing that your ACPH acceptance criteria for this shall be within the design qualification of your area for each of your area. Then our next second parameter, second test, it is integrity test for HEPA filter. High efficiency particulate air is HAPA and we do integrity tests for this. Here we use chemical poly alpha olefin POW. Initially uh, DOP were using but that is a carcinogenic chemical. So now the poly alpha olefin POW is using for integrity test of HAPA filter. So in instrument you require smoke generator, aerosol for a photometer to get the integrity test. And the acceptance criteria should be like during scanning percentage of power shown for the photometer, it shall be less than 0.0% and there should be no leakage at the side joints. Here what we do uh, like uh, with the help of silicon we block all the side joints so there should be no leakage and in filter 0.01% acceptance criteria is there but in upstream concentration limit it it should be 100% of 2280 mg per liter now our Next test, it is pressure differential, air pressure differential, magnetic gauges are used for this. So, we do the pressure differential recording for continuous 72 hours. The frequency should be same as you are doing in routine and at a glance. In the continuation at a stretch, you need to record 72 hours pressure differential record for this. And here acceptance criteria will be as per your room specification of HVAC. It should be within predetermined specification for that. Now our next parameter, next test is air flow pattern test. Here we use instrument fog generator, smoke generator or water fogger for this. So guys, your air flow pattern study shall be 
you need to do it at rest for all the grades and at rest and in dynamic condition for your grade A and B means dynamic condition is required for A and B only and rest you need to do for all the grade A, B, C and D carry out your videography for the test and you need to enclose your videography along with the qualification report your air shall flow from higher pressure zone to lower pressure zone and toward written air filter or grill from its supply and yes of course it should be unidirection flow you need to take videography of this test and you need to enclose this videography with your qualification document for future reference now our next test is environment monitoring like temperature and humidity you need to record your humidity and temperature for a period of 72 hours to demonstrate the consistency and here also your acceptance criteria will be as per specified in your system specification for the particular area your temperature and RH should be within the range of that now next we will do non viable airborne particle count test here we need a particle counter for that and remember that your particle counter should be duly calibrated with national or some international traceability certificate is must for your master equipment then number of location this is the your acceptance criteria what we did we took the stringent criteria this is the combination of your ISO EU and uh, WHO GMP and this is the stringent above all so this is your criteria for at rest in operation for all the grades check that and compare with the area it should be within its range now we will do microbial monitoring for passive air sampling here just we need our subtle plate and media SCDA you need to expose those plates in predefined locations this location should be rational basis you need to do study for that your microbiologist and place it at least four hours on those locations then we will incubate those acidia plates for 20 to 25 degrees centigrade for 72 hours and afterward 30 to 35 degrees centigrade for 48 hours the conditions are same for our active and passive here microbial growth after five days is this this is the limit for your ABCD it should be within this range then active air sample here you need air sampler media plate here you remember one thing that 1000 liter of air shall be withdrawn if the capacity of your air sampler is 100 liter at a time so you need to do it 10 times simply calculate and divide with this 1000 and total you need 1000 liter of air and active site of the sampler shall be sanitized properly with filtered 70% IPA or isopropyl alcohol before each sampling. Now you need to incubate at same condition as we used like uh, 20 to 25 degrees centigrade for 72 hours and then 30 to 35 degrees centigrade for 48 hours here is the our acceptance criteria for this 
So guys, this is the HVAC qualification. Thank you for choosing us. Keep watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe and like. Thank you.